What's up guys? We are on our way to English Town Spring Moves, Club Blue Spring Moves. We got Wayne and Steph with us today. Oh, I recognize this road. Yeah, we've turned here before. Wasn't much of a prep video that I made because there wasn't much prep to do. Bled the brakes after I fixed the brake line and that was about all I had to do with the car, change tires. So, basically we're gonna get the car unloaded, get right to tech and driver's meeting and all that and drive and see if I don't suck today. guys so so far I've got two runs in the first run I had no handbrake because my pads were still cold <laughs> I pulled it and nothing happened so I got the pads warmed up by the second run so my first run it was all weight distribution on the first turn I didn't drift too much but then coming down I drifted the second and third turn no problem Steph got that on video second run I had a handbrake I drifted the second half of the first turn up the hill, down the hill, straight down a little bit, and then reinitiate by the second turn, and I got a little too much angle and I spun. But I'm feeling super confident in the car today, and it's just, it feels so good, and I feel like by the time I have to leave today, if I can get enough runs in, I'll, I, I'm really hoping I can be able to link this whole entire track all together. Um, and I think I'm getting that. But, now we're stuck sitting on track and I feel like this whole session is going to be killed because somebody slid off track into the woods, flipped their car. They got like six trucks now trying to unflip this. No windshield, nothing. That sucks. Way. Mike DeFoss goes bombing, but hopefully you get some good content. <laughs> That's what happens when you flip a beamer. Oh, look at the pillar. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, the rear shot, too. Yeah, it's bad. So I showed you guys the two cars that flipped. Uh, kind of sucks. The red E36 hit the tire wall last night and rolled. And then the E30, um, he just rolled off track. I don't really know what happened, but we switched tires, got fresh tires on the car. We got one more session till we have to leave. Uh, so I'm happy that I have a lot of tread and hopefully I can get it down. But I'm in no rush. I'm having a good time not doing as bad as I was the last time, so I know I've progressed a little bit, but it's all good, no complaints.
Thomas just did the whole first turn. That was crazy. No handbrake. I just threw the car in and it worked. That was awesome. I'm so hyped right now. I just gotta keep doing that, I guess. Reese is gonna hop in soon. So he'll be able to give me some more pointers like he did at Haunted Moves last year. So I'm liking this. I'm definitely liking this. not steering so I have spares but this sucks all right guys so we're home we're at the car wash right now my car is covered in like an inch of dust from the track day there's a lot of dust uh, and dirt that was getting kicked on from people like just dipping and dirt dropping off track so as you saw already we packed it up my, what ultimately would have been my last run of the day before I had to come home because I had to leave the event a little bit early today was that um, my inner tie rod broke. What happened was the inner tie rod just snapped right off. It looked like it bent a little bit first before it snapped. So I don't know if at some point it bent and then there was just stress on it. Uh, but this wheel is turned in because this wheel has no steering control right now. Uh, it was pretty interesting driving off the track getting this thing loaded back up onto the trailer but i have a spare tie rod that i can throw in the car um, i'll make a video just pulling this whole thing apart and figure out what was wrong um, just so i can get it back on the street but then i did find out that they do make hardened tie rods for the application that i have on this car which is not a 3000 gt tie rod so i'm going to go to that eventually and um, try and have a more solid setup if you want to say that so all in all the event was good I kind of impressed myself with how well I was doing by the end of the day Reese sat in with me and he really taught me a lot of how to do different things throughout the course 
I was afraid of the first turn going into today, and by the end of the day, I was drifting the first turn, no problem, along with the whole rest of the course until this happened. Um, and then I gotta check and make sure nothing's bent in the back left corner, because I, I dirt dropped and I smacked a corner where two pavement ends meet, um, and the car literally like hopped out of the hole. So I wanna make sure nothing's bent in the back. Doesn't look like it, but you never know until you get under it. And yeah, so I'm gonna wash this thing now and bring it back home. We'll unload it tomorrow and finally get some sleep because I am beat. So thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, most importantly, because there will be more of the 3000 GT drift car coming this summer um, as we get to more events, as we try out new things with it, and as we find more sp spaces on the street locally that we can actually drift at which is what we've been trying to do. But until then, I'll see you guys next time.